So gray rock, we know what it is, right? It's, it's having no reaction to the narcissist when they are displaying the childlike behaviors of projecting, gaslighting, blame shifting, ranting, raging, silent treatment, you name it. It's deflecting by not acknowledging or reacting to it or responding to it in any way, shape or form. It's gray rocking is keeping it boring. You're not feeding the supply back into the narcissist's the desires for supply that they have, right? Sometimes I want to defend myself. Well, whether we want to defend ourselves or not, it's not useful. It's not useful. That's the problem. And it's giving them supply. It's not useful in that it, it very rarely has any effect when you defend yourself. All it does is escalate the situation and create more gaslighting, more projecting. It gives them information on you. So when you're defending yourself, to a narcissist and you're saying, but this is how I feel. This is what I think. Don't tell me what I think. Don't tell me what I feel, you know, cause they'll, they'll say, you know, like say you're having a, a discussion and, and they start projecting and they start blame shifting and they start telling you, you are one way or another, you're completely disrespectful. And you still don't, don't tell me I'm disrespectful. I am one of the more respectful people. In fact, I've sat here listening to you for X amount of minutes. And I have been very respectful in listening to your side of things. And now I need you to hear mine, right? That would be a defense. All that does is show them your, it shows them your, your game plan. It shows them your strategy. So then they can slip in and, and oh, you're hurting my feelings. Uh, and they switch it to something else. It never works. The defense against the, to defend oneself to a narcissist is gray rock. You see what I'm saying? You're defending yourself by keeping your truth to yourself because you, you tell it to them and they will use it and eat you up. <laughs> That's what they do. And if you tell them something in defense, like, well, you know, and, it's, and you're having this, you, you get that feeling of wanting this deep conversation with one of them and you, and you get this feeling that they're listening to you. What they're doing is storing that information to use later against you. Basically, if you say, you know, I'm just feeling like you don't listen to me, like, I appreciate right now you're listening to me and I'm feeling like you never listened to me and whatever, blah, blah, blah. And you go on and on. And that's your defense. You say, so I have to repeat myself over and over because you don't hear me. That's why I do that. Okay. So that's why I do it. And they say, oh, okay. And then they, maybe they drop that argument that time because for whatever reason, they don't feel like gaining more supply guaranteed. They'll come back with, you know, you never listen to me. You never listen to me. I'm always unheard. That's it. <laughs> They flip the script, they make it theirs. So they'll take it, they'll use it. There is no, the only defense is walking away and gray rock, honestly, um, that is self-defense. Whatever they say to you to engage you, you disengage. You're in it, you want so badly for someone to hear you, right? You want someone to, res you, you appreciate the fact that they notice something about you maybe, or you feel trapped, whatever you feel, you feel something. You disengage. You catch yourself engaging, that's when you gray rock. It's not like we are robots and we can immediately turn on this gray rock system as soon as the potential for the threat comes at you. It's usually right in the middle of it that you catch yourself engaging, you pull back, you have to take a deep breath. You realize that the healthier thing for me is to not engage in this because if I do engage, it's gonna escalate and I'm gonna feel terrible. I'm not gonna be heard. Nothing's going to come out of this except me feeding that narcissist with supply and you pull back anyway. It's very hard. It's yeah. And it's, but it's, it's a skill. So this is what it's about. Gray rocking helps you break that enmeshment. It's, it helps you separate yourself from the manipulation because you're making a choice to disengage. This is about disengaging. It's not about punishing them. It's not about, it's not about them. It's about you. Gray rock is, your protection mechanism too. It's not about dissociating necessarily either, even though that can happen it, in order to gray rock, right? But it's about stepping out of a situation that is toxic for you. Now, here's, the, here's my point with it. And this worked for me tremendously and kept me from feeling like I was going crazy and needing to defend myself and needing to um, vent all over and whatever. It kept me feeling in power of my own um, part in it, if that makes sense. 
is internally to make the separation by naming the behavior. Well, not out loud. You don't want to go telling the narcissist, stop projecting all over me. I mean, that doesn't going to do any good except give them a word to throw at you. You name the behavior. Okay, that person is totally projecting because that's something that they do all the time. Now they're blame shifting. They're blame shifting in order to get away with it. You can start watching the mechanism in action when you do this and someone is classically narcissistic behaviors are coming out, right? You can um, you can see the progression of the, of the way they relate to other people when they're trapped and their ego is at stake. When they're there, you, all you can see at that point isn't the fact that they're being mean to you and attacking you. It's the fact that they're defending their mask and you can watch it in play. And when I did that, I was able to separate from the words that were being said and taking them personal and realizing that anyone in the situation that I was in was going to get this. This is how this person manifests in relationship. This is how they behave. This is how when their mask is threatened, the mask that they think that they are, <laughs> the mask that they want to project out to other people to pretend that's who they are, when that's threatened in any way. In other words, when you see who they are, when you see beyond the mask into their into the reality of either what they're doing or how they're behaving or who they are, and all this starts coming out, then there's a separation and it isn't about me, it's about them. They have an issue and it's a major <laughs> issue, right? <laughs> You have no idea. My mouth is not this clean. So. <laughs> All right. Holding my tongue. Anyway, they have a major issue. And their major issue is that they, they have no empathy and they have no accountability. And so it's them struggling with accountability. It has nothing to do with you. That's why defending yourself is irrelevant. There's nothing to defend. You've done nothing. Right? Most of the time, like 90 some percent of the time, you've done nothing. All you did was shine a mirror at them that showed them that their mask isn't real. That's it. That's nothing to, there's nothing to defend, right? So as I'm inwardly watching and naming the behaviors, I'm seeing that this is not about me. This is about them. And I'm telling myself, it doesn't really matter what I say. I know my truth. So I'm going to say the thing that keeps it as minimally interactive as I can and watch what happens. And every narcissist is going to behave differently to the gray rocking. Some of them get really mad and they fight for supply and others of them, my mind loved it. He loved it. And then I realized it was, it was actually giving him supply for me to be submissive. So I had to change the gray rock into one of direct questioning and logic. <laughs> so, you know, um, yeah. Okay. It's the intention behind what we're doing and understanding our intention and understanding what's actually going on and at play that helps you not feel like you're not being heard quite so much. It helps you not have that horrible feeling that you can't say something to someone you love and care about. It also helps you when you do have the ability to step back and see this is not personal. This is their problem. A hundred percent. They do not know how to communicate. They refuse to communicate. This is, this is them being a three-year-old child, putting their foot down, saying, I will not, I will not engage. I will get it my way. This is it. My ego is all that matters, right? And when you see that, you it's um, it's actually get puts the power back in your hands for your own, your own life, your own interactions with people. It's a boundary. So gray rock is a boundary when you do it in a way that isn't. So if you don't have that inner inner intent going on and you don't have the observation of what's actually happening going on, what can happen is you feel like you're forced into a position of not being able to speak and you feel like you're being silenced. Can you see the difference? It's in the intent and in the inner in the inner work that you're doing on yourself with yourself through this experience. I mean, ideally you get out and you get away from it so you don't have to spend your life gray rocking because it's miserable. It's miserable. You never feel heard. Another thing is talk to people who understand and tell them what happened. Tell them the situation, people that get it so that you do have a place to be heard and vent and someone to say, you know what? That was totally, totally. He was, they were, she was, whatever. And agreeing with you to the point where you feel validated. So it's speaking to other survivors as well, but on your own, 
keeping the knowledge that, that this other person is the one that is having a problem here. <laughs> it is not personal and naming the behaviors can actually help you. Also telling yourself, as I said, that this is, um, this is my truth and I will not share my truth with someone who's going to project, use it, steal it and make it their own. No, I will only share my truth with people who hear me. You see, it's a boundary then, and it is no longer being silenced. It's intentionally silencing yourself to protect a truth. Does that make sense? Totally different way of thinking of gray rock maybe, but that's how I used it. And it completely changed the way I felt when I was gray rocking. It also led me to get out, all right? Because it built my self-worth up. As I kept my own truth to myself, I wanted a place to share it. I didn't, want to sh I didn't want to deal with that relationship anymore. It helped me detach from the narcissist. It helped break the trauma bonding because I wasn't engaging in the cycle. And as always, if you need support, if you need peer support, um, there's information. Or if you need coaching help, you can find us and myself over at queenbeing.com. And all the information's there. It's also down in the, the main description of every video. So that's it. You guys, you guys take care. Bye.